It's the Van Ule Honeycomb Shave Bowl. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have an evening head shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch neighbors everywhere. It's MarkwithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. This time around, we have a brand new shave bowl in the shave den, courtesy of your Alex Lopez. Alex, thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we're going to have an evening head shave. I'm going to use my Phoenix Shaving Copper Ascension uh, razor. I'm also going to be using a, uh, a Vikings Blade Mild Razor Blade. I haven't used these in a while. These, those are, these are really, really good. I'm sure they'll be great in this razor. I'm also going to be using uh, Tea Party 508 uh, Shave Soap from... Uh, Phoenix Shaving, absolutely great. We're going to also finish off with an alum block. I've got Tea Party 508 Aftershave uh, and Cologne uh, right here. I'm uh, going to start it off with the uh, Tube 2.0 right here for a pre-shave. Not going to really wash the head. I'm just going to go ahead and do some pre-shave lathering up there with the Tube 2.0. But uh, the star of the show is what I have right here, came courtesy of your Alex Lopez. Alex, again, thank you very, very much. It's the Van Ule Honeycomb Shave Bowl. How about this? This is a high-impact plastic. Now, the bottom is a smooth, smooth plastic, but everything else has a bit of texture to it. The uh, inside has this <laughs> beautiful, beautiful honeycomb pattern. It does have a honeycomb texture to it, and all of those little honeycomb channels, or um, yeah, I guess you'd call them channels, honey, the little honeycomb um, uh, holes or pits, or however you want to describe it, that's going to help generate a lot of lather very, very quickly. Uh, there's also some honeycombing uh, around the uh, rim of the uh, the base of the uh, lathering bowl, so it really affords a really nice grip. It is very, very grippy. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. It seems to be the right amount of weight. Feels great in the hand. This is a five. This is the five inch version. They also make a larger version, but uh, we have the five inch version here, and this is plenty. This really is a terrific, terrific size for the lathering bowl. Now. I'm also going to be using my Phoenix Shaving StarCraft Shave Brush, Synthetic Shave Brush. I have that in the sink right now in some warm water. I have some hot water on the, uh, the shave soap, the Tea Party 508 Shave Soap. What I'm going to do is I've just taken the brush out of the sink for the time being. I'm getting some really, really hot, hot, hot water. And I'm just going to put some hot water in here just to kind of warm it up a little bit. That's all. Oh, you can see it's, oh man, that's hot water. You can see the hot water in there. <laughs> a lot of, wow, yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're going to take the brush. We're going to set the brush back in there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, wet the head and I'm going to apply a little bit of pre-shave and then we're going to go ahead and build a lather. So let me just wet the head and we'll apply the pre-shave. Yeah, doing it this way will give the uh, the bowl a little little chance to heat up a little bit. Here's the tube 2.0. I'm just going to run that around up there a little bit, and we'll work that into a bit of a pre-shave lather. And if I have to add a little water again after I've made the lather, that's not going to be a problem at all. But this will give it a little time to warm up. There we go. Yeah, I got about three days worth of hair growth here, so... Really looking forward to doing this shave. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's great. And I'm, uh, I'm anticipating a, a very, very quick lather because I've got uh, CK6 here, which does a great, great job. And I've got this uh, wonderful honeycomb shave bowl, which uh, <laughs> all those little honeycombs, what would you call those? Little channels, little openings, little divots. 
Um, it's another word for honeycomb. Little indentations that those are going to make a lot. Going to make a lot of lather. So I'm going to overload the brush here a little bit. I know, I know, I know. I'm just going to get a little bit of water there and I'm going to overload the brush a little bit because that's just the way I do it. All right, now here is the, uh, the bowl here with the water in there, okay? And we're going to go ahead and dump that in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and there's held a little bit of water in there inside those little honeycombs. So there's, wow, look at that. It's a good thing I... Good thing I did add a little bit of, uh, good thing I did add a little more soap because that little bit of water in there adds to this. So, you know what? You <laughs> be aware of that. Wow. That's really a little more water than I expected. That honeycomb held that water in there. So, yeah. So, be aware of that. My gosh, look at this. Look at what I got here already. My gosh, look. I mean, just heaps and heaps of lather in an instant. My gosh, look at that. That is amazing. Now, CK6 is phenomenal. I know that. But this is even more phenomenal in this la in this shape bowl, this lathering bowl. I mean, I am just... <laughs> wow. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. There's so much there. I can't believe that. That is... That is remarkable. That's a lot of lather. That little bit of water in there forced me to do a little more agitation because I didn't want it to be too soupy. And it's not become too soupy. It's almost like I it's the it's almost like it's the perfect consistency right now. But that little bit of water, just be aware of that. It's it's in there, and oh my gosh, look what you get. You get a bowl of lather! Check that out! My god, look at that! Look at that already! Look at those peaks already a creamy yogurt that was that was record time my <laughs> my gosh all right i am going to put a little more water on my head hang on okay that's got it a little bit of water a little more water on my head and i'm going to add a little more of this tube 2.0 just to have that on there and work that in to a little bit more of a pre-shave lather just so it's there don't want it to be too dry. Boy, I tell you what, I am looking forward to this shave because I want to shave this down. And this bowl came at a really opportune time. So again, my thanks to Alex Lopez. Look at that. Look at this lather. My gosh. And I got to tell you, this Tea Party 508 is just a phenomenal scent. Really, if you're a tea head, <laughs> and I'm told that that is a thing, if you like tea and you're a tea head, uh, is that what it's called? Tea head? I think that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, that's, if you're a tea lover, let's, let's put it like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe tea head is not the proper term. But if you are a tea lover, you will love this scent. And look at all this lather I've got. My gosh. That, that is amazing. That really, really is amazing. My God. Look at that. I'll make sure I got enough on my neck here because I gotta shave that. To, oh my goodness. Look at that. Well, I mean, <laughs> wow. Wow, and look how much I have in there. I mean, look at how much I have in there. Look at that. Now, okay. Wow, that is, that's fantastic. Okay, here's my razor. We are gonna. We're only going to go about a sixteenth of a turn. That's all we're going to do. It's been snugged up. We're only going to go a sixteenth of a turn. That'll open it up enough for a head shave. I don't want to open it up a quarter turn. I think that'll be a little too much blade gap for me for head shave. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. And we're going to get right to this shave. My gosh. This is, uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful shave bowl. That made um, heaps of lather. My gosh. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. A lot of protection. Plenty of protection. No doubt about it. Boy, that's nice. It's nice and smooth.
Boy, that's that's great. This really is my favorite way to shave my head using a good safety razor and a good blade. A nice, nice lather from a good quality artisan shave soap. The other ways that we've discussed on the channel on Monday Morning Mailbag are fine. Uh, okay in a pinch, but this really gives me the the best result. Let's, let's just... Okay. Let's, let's go this way. There we go. I seem, I seem to get a better angle on it from back to front rather than front to back. Okay. Eh, that's pretty good too. Just very, very mild. Doesn't feel like the doesn't feel like the razor is really shaving much because of its mild quality and also because of that nice Vikings blade razor blade. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, that's the uh, first pass done. Let me splash a little water on there, get a little more water on there. We'll lather up for pass number two. Okay, that's all I want to do. Just a little bit of water. Just want to add a little more water. And I am going to keep the uh, razor where it's at. I'm not going to turn it down any. Uh, this lather, look how much I have here. I mean, I, <laughs> I got quite a bit. My gosh. Look at that. Yeah, and I'm just going to go. Well, I know it's, <laughs> I know it's a, it looks, appears a bit sloppy, but my gosh, I've got so much. All right, okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got a little bit, got a little of my eye. My, my apologies. Okay, there we go. That happens from time to time. I mean, I got so much. <laughs> So much. I mean, it's just amazing. It's overflowing. That's why I guess it appears to be a little, a little more sloppy this time around. But I just have so much. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep the uh, the razor where it's at. I'm not going to uh, adjust it uh, milder. This will be. A, this is a a good um, a good level of aggression for me right here. And we're going from back to front. And again, there we go. A lot of protection up above this time around from this lather. Really, I mean, a nice yogurty, creamy lather. It just feels like it gave me a lot of protection up above where my skin is thinner and uh, very little blade feel. Uh, I did have to adjust the angle a little bit to make sure I was shaving there, but I was. And uh, just felt very, very smooth. All right. Now here's the uh, the phase where I take some lather off of the brush like that and I move it around my head to get areas that I may have missed on the first two passes just to kind of uh, touch up 
certain areas here and there. And this razor has been doing just a wonderful, wonderful job. It's it's set very, very, it's set on the mild side. I don't want to say it's very, very mild, but it is set on the mild side. Having it snugged up all the way would have been its mildest setting, but I have the blade gap open a little bit. So that really affords me a, a little more efficiency. But again, I don't want to uh, have something very, very aggressive when I'm doing my shaving my head because uh, yeah, that's how I that's how I nick myself. I tend to nick myself. If you've seen any of my previous videos from a year, a few years ago, where I was first starting to head shave and I was experimenting with different uh, adjustable razors and different settings and that sort of thing, I was turning them up too much. So I won't turn up a, uh, like say the Vikings Blade uh, Emperor Meiji razor, I won't turn that up above five for a head shave. I probably will end up starting, well, you know, I haven't used it in a while, but uh, if I'm, if I'm going to use it again, I would probably start at below five, maybe four, three and a half, something like that. Man, that is just, that is just a really, really nice, nice result. And so much lather. I mean, amazing how much lather I have. And it's a really, really nice, nice, smooth, smooth result. A absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful, smooth result up there. It's, <laughs> it's BBS up there. All right, let me drain the sink. And let me get, I got a cloth here. And I'm going to just... Uh, towel off or rinse off my head with some warm water and this uh, washcloth and clean that all off. I got, well, yeah, I got a lot of, lot of hair in the sink here, that's for sure. And I'll just rinse this off a little bit. This is marvelous, absolutely marvelous. Okay. Wow, that's great. Boy, that feels so nice too. That feels great. You know what? If you're if you're considering going fully bald and want to want to uh, shave your head, obviously you're going to kind of you probably start with a cartridge razor, maybe an electric, that sort of thing. But if you can move over to a, a safety razor, do so because you get a really nice result. Just keep it on the mild side. Use a good sharp blade. Something that is platinum coated. That works for me. Platinum or chromium coated. These uh, Vikings Blade mild razor blades, I believe, are platinum coated. Uh, they're terrific. I like them a lot. They really are very, very good. All right, let me... Uh, Turn this over to the cold water side, and we'll go ahead and get some uh, cold water up there to kind of close my pores. This has been a really, really phenomenal head shave, and uh, a great recipe. I had a great artisan shave soap in Tea Party 508 with CK6. I love CK6. It's, it's fantastic. And a great brush in the StarCraft from Phoenix Shaving. And also, well, you know what? <laughs> This honeycomb shave bowl did a tremendous job. Tremendous, tremendous job. Wow. Oh, nice and cool. All right. All right, let's keep that cold water running. We got an almond block here. This is an Osmi almond block. It's a solid almond block. Phoenix Shaving also has introduced solid almond blocks, so that's on my wish list. Next time I go up there and place an order, I'm going to get one. Uh, these are terrific. Go ahead and just pass this over and see what kind of feedback we get. This is nice and smooth. There's no stinging. There's no zinging. Really, really very, very nice. Okay. Okay. A couple of zings here and there. Some nice bracing, but there's no stinging at all. That's marvelous. Absolutely fantastic. Now let me just uh, dry this off and I'll set it aside in a little dish. And we'll take care of that. Now, I'm going to set the brush aside.
before I, uh, let me show you the brush. Let me show you the lather and the, and the brush here and what I have left in the bowl here. Look what I have left in the bowl. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it just, ex look at that. It just exploded. I mean, look, look what I got. Look what I got. Look at that. Boy, that's what the uh, honeycomb shave bowl helped produce right there. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to set it in here a little bit. Now, one comment I heard from a viewer was that because of the honeycomb uh, and the soap in there, it might not clean up as quickly as other shave bowls. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use some warm water. We're going to go ahead and run this underneath there. I'm not going to use any I'm not going to use the brush to go in there. I'm just going to rinse it out and I'm going to show you what I got. All right. Okay. So there's my first rinsing. Okay. So there you go. Okay. So yeah, there is, it is in there. So let's take the brush now. All right. And let's take the brush. And I normally do this anyhow. And we're going to take the brush and we're going to run the brush in there to help clean out some of that honeycomb. And just some swirls here and there. Okay, and that's what I have. I gotta get a little more, all right? So just a little more. And I think maybe if I were to just uh, run some warmer water uh, on into this bowl and uh, just let it sit there, I think it would probably clean up a little more quickly, but yes. I would say that whoever mentioned this, I believe it was Mark Bagwell. Yes, it was Mark Bagwell who mentioned this to me because I believe he has this bowl. And he was saying that, yeah, you know what? You have to, you have to clean it a little more vigorously because of those honeycombs. The ladder really gets in there. But you know what? I've got it. It's clean now. So. So I think the key to it, I think the key to it is, is to um, use a little more, use a little hotter water, which is what I'm going to do right now, because this is what I have. This is what I have right here. And you can see it's clean, and there might be maybe one or two little honeycomb pockets that have, that has a little bit, no, actually, boy, that hot water does a nice, boy, that hot water does a trick. That really, does, man, that does a trick. Boy, that got it. Wow. There's nothing in there now. And I think that's the key. Run some hot water, run some hot, hot water in there. That's what, yeah, look at that. And I also think maybe the lighting was playing a little tricks on my eye. It might not have been lather. It might have just been water droplets in there that looked like lather. Yeah, but that cleaned up nicely. Okay, so, hey, it's going to take uh, maybe an extra minute or two, maybe, to clean that out. But it, yeah, I think that's what it is, the lighting. I think the lighting reflected off the water and I thought I was looking at ladder and I was probably looking at a water droplet. So yeah, that, that cleaned up fairly well in good time. Yeah, just be aware of that. It's gonna, because it's gonna trap a little more of the lather in there. So you're gonna have to use your brush to kind of clean it out. Set your brush aside, put some hot water in there and I think that'll help the process along. I'll, uh, I'll try that next time I use it to see if that, uh, Hypothesis works. Hypothesis by hypothesis. My hypothesis is correct. Here is uh, Tea Party 508. I'm going to put a little bit upstairs here just for scent, like that. And uh, yeah, that's terrific. Okay, just a little bit like that. And actually, for moisturizing, because uh, the scent is kind of neutral, I'm going to use Nivea Sensitive right here. It's kind of neutral. And I think it'll do a good job. And I think it'll go well. The, it, won't, it won't overwhelm the, uh, the Tea Party 508 scent is what I'm saying. All right. Well, that's nice. Those work well together. Great shave. Really a terrific, terrific evening head shave. This lathering bowl is a winner. I'm telling you, this lathering bowl is a winner. Do you have to spend a little more time cleaning it out? Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. I think the hot water will uh, will take care of that, and I was using uh, warm to cool water. Uh, so, and also doing it on camera, um, you know, 
I tend to take my time and explain things and I'm talking and that sort of thing. So that might add to the time that it takes to clean this out. Plus, I also think that the lighting in here was reflecting off of water droplets. So that might not have been looking at lather in there. I might have been just looking at water droplets trapped in those little honeycomb pockets. That's the word I'm looking for. Little pockets, little honeycomb pockets. Uh, so yeah. This is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful shave bowl. This is absolutely fantastic. It built heaps and heaps of lather in record time. This is probably one of the, this is probably the fastest lathering bowl I have ever used. I'm looking forward to trying Ariana and Evans, Barrister and Man, Shannon Soaps, Hoffman Soaps, Katie's Bubbles, uh, and many others in here to see how fast they lather because CK6 lathered almost in an instant. Be aware that if you put some water in here to heat it up and you dump it out, you will have some remnant trapped, trapped in those honeycomb pockets that are going to add to uh, whatever water you might have on your brush, that sort of thing. So uh, just kind of accommodate for the water to soap ratio, knowing that there's going to be a little bit of water trapped in those honey in those honeycomb pockets. So uh, be aware of that you may have to adjust uh, the amount of soap you load on the brush. Is what I'm saying. This was great, uh, absolutely great. My thanks to Alex Lopez for sending it along to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. Thank you very very much, Alex. We'll have a link below. Check this out. Reasonably priced. High impact plastic will not break, and this honeycomb in here generates heaps of lather in an instance. This is the fastest la this is the fastest lathering bowl I have ever used. It really is remarkable. And also, the honeycomb uh, on the rim of the base really, really affords a nice grip. Not once did I ever think it was going to slip out of my hands. Really, 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 really fantastic. So my thanks again to uh, Alex Lopez for sending this along. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much. Really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment. Pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.